In these videos, I'm going to go over the solutions and talk about the uh, math proficiency test for Ontario teachers. And uh, there's three different parts to it, so I'm going to break the video into different parts too. So the first part here, uh, there's six questions. This is the non-calculator part, calculator part. And so uh, once you get in the test, you would click on, of course, next question. And I want to show you there's um, uh, a formula sheet looks very much like the uh, EQAO grade 9 test formula sheet. Very, very much like that. So you will have access to that uh, throughout the course. And um, just to show you what that looks like, if I bring my web page over here, there's this bar on the left, and um, this is the calculator part. Uh, I'm actually here in the second part of the test here, but this is how you get to the uh, formula sheet. So, and there's the, there's the two parts that I showed in the PowerPoint there. So that's how you get to that. So on to the first few questions. So these are all to be done without the use of a calculator. So uh, question number one here, you're adding one, negative two, and then subtracting negative three. Now, uh, the, uh, so here's our question. Now, uh, subtracting negative, and I've already done one step here. Subtracting negative three is the same as adding three. So this is a simpler version of this question. Actually, adding negative two is the same as just subtracting two. So a couple ways you could do this, uh, there's actually are two positive integers, one and three. So you had, could add one and three together, and that's four, and then subtract two would be two. So there's your answer right there. Uh, you could go straight from left to right, too. Um, you know, you go one subtract two is negative one, and then we're going to add three to it, and three plus negative one is two. You can also think of that as three uh, take away one is two. So then the two is the correct answer for the first one here. Uh, second one, uh, what's the value of uh, this expression? So it's three to the fourth divided by three to the first. And I, again, I'm going to show two ways to do this. Um, you, when you're dividing, you subtract exponents. So 4 minus the 1 here is 3. So this is actually equal to 3 to the third or 3 cubed. And 3 cubed means 3 times 3 times 3. So that would be 27. The other way you could do this is you could actually uh, evaluate 3 to the fourth and 3 to the first. And I wrote the 1 here just so it's easier to see that there is an exponent of 1 here. If you don't see an exponent, it's automatically 1. So you could evaluate uh, this 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Four threes multiplied together is 81 divided by 3 is 27. Okay, and so that's uh, a couple ways you could get the 27 here. Uh, third question, what's the value of the 2 in this number? So if we write out uh, 4, 2, 5, 3, 80. Um, so the, uh, the 0 is in the 1's place. The 8 is the 10's. The 3 is the 100, the third digit. The five, the fourth one over is the thousands, and this is the tens of thousands, and then of course that would be hundreds of thousands. Now, two tens of thousands would be 20,000, like two ten thousands is 20,000, so that value is of that digit is 20,000. Uh, so what's the value of this expression? So 24 divided by two thirds. So in order to divide this, uh, dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we flip the two-thirds upside down, becomes three-halves. And um, so 24 is the same as 24 over 1. And so when you multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators on top, the denominators on the bottom. So 24 times 3 on top will be 72. And 1 times 2 on the bottom is 2. And 2 divides into 72 evenly 36 times. Okay, So the answer would be 36 here. Now, another way you could do this is if you look at the answers 4, 8, 16, and 36. If you're dividing 24 by 2 thirds, that's smaller than 1. So it should go into 24 more than 24 times. Like if I was dividing 24 by 1, it would, the answer would be 24. But I'm dividing it by something smaller, so it's going to be an answer larger than 24. And the only answer larger than 24 here is 36. Okay. Uh, 24 can't divide by two-thirds be something small like 16 or 8 because it would have to be something bigger than 24 because division means how many times does it go in? Like how many two-thirds does it take to make 24? Well, it would, be, it would take 36 two-thirds to make 24. 
Okay, number five, Amal is saving money, and uh, you're asked, uh, what's the minimum number of times that he needs to add $15 to uh, his savings to increase them by 100 bucks? Now, <clears throat> now there's a little this there's a little bit of a tr trick trickiness to this question because we can't add fifteen dollars and get exactly an increase of a hundred. Okay, so it could have been a better question if you said by increase by a hundred dollars or more. So what I would do in this case is I would say, well, if, let's say he did four times. If he added uh, fifteen four times, that's only sixty dollars, so it's not enough for one increase of savings by hundred dollars. So we did five times. Five times fifteen is seventy-five. Okay, so not enough yet. So what about six? Six fifteen. Six times fifteen is only ninety. So it's going to be seven. Seven times fifteen is one hundred and five. So uh, that would increase it by a hundred dollars or more, of course. So the answer would be seven times here. And the last, and this is what you always see every time. So I'm on the last question for part one here. What's the sum of the following sets of four numbers? So we're going to add these numbers. So I would arrange them uh, on top of one another so that the decimals are all lined up. And I'm going to put the line here. So uh, I'll add, you add columns. So this is going to be five. Five and zero is five. Two, there's nothing here, so I don't worry about even saying zero. Two and three add to five as well. And six and seven add to 13. So we put... Um, and the 13 here, the, the decimal is right in the middle of the 13. Actually, 0. 0.6 and 0. 0.7 add to 1.3. So 1.3555 is the correct answer. Oh, I circled the wrong one. Should be B here. My apologies. Now, let's do that the right way. So it's 1.3555 should be the correct answer. I'm going to stop now. I will continue the other ones in, in other videos. But this is the end of the first non-calculated part.